Welcome to Left-Handed Locksport number 002. I'm the EJM3, and this is the Sparrows Cutaway. This video is a quick lesson in how a lock functions and why they can be picked. The parts of a lock we must focus on are all located inside of the chambers, which are vertically milled holes that go from the top of the Bible all the way through to the plug. There are three parts in every chamber. The spring, the driver pin and the key pin, which are all forced into the plug by that spring. Now each key pin is different lengths that correspond to the matching keys bidding, such that when we put the key into the keyway, each of the key pins raise to the shear line, which is the point of a lock where the plug meets the Bible. When all the key pins are flush with the shear line, the plug becomes a true cylinder, which will then rotate freely, opening your lock. Now the reason why we can pick this mechanism is due to manufacturing inaccuracies that manifest itself when we apply torque to our tension wrench. One of these driver pins will bind up due to the friction we're causing on the pin. Most of these pins will move freely inside of the chamber, except for one, which will bind up. In this case, it's pin five. Once we find the binder, we get underneath it with our hook and simply lift up until we hear a click. Once we hear the click, we know that the driver pin is safely at home where it wants to be in the Bible and the key pin is inside of the plug. And all we have to do now is do the same thing with the remaining four chambers. There's a little trick called the speed bump method which is when you put your pick all the way to the back of the keyway and just move forward, brushing each one of the key pins until you get a binder. And this is, you, you'll really feel it grab onto your hook and not let go. When you find it, get underneath that pin and simply raise up until you hear the click. And then start from the back and just go forward until you get caught up again, get underneath it, raise it up, wait for the click, go to the back, go forward, find what's holding you up, get underneath it, raise it up, wait for the click, and there you have it. The, once all of the driver pins are at home in the Bible, all the key pins are in the plug, and there's no link between the two parts, then the plug will rotate freely, opening it up. And that's all there is to it. Now, a true lock picker is an artist, and the fact that every one of these locks will feel different. They all function exactly the same, but due to different spring tensions, um, different manufacturers and their tolerances, um, you will get a different feel on every single lock that you try to pick. The lock picker is an artist in the fact that he can see through all of these variables and get down to the core truth, which is the mechanical aspects of each and every lock that he picks. And that's it. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned a lot. And if you did, please Click the subscribe button, like it, and hit the notification button to get notified each time I upload a new video. And until then, peace.